प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर फिफ्टीन फ्रॉम प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन ऑफ ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट आई वॉन्टेड द वर्ल्ड टू सी दैट इंडिया डिड नॉट लैक फेथ इन हर सेल्फ एंड दैट इंडिया वॉज प्रिपेयर टू कॉपरेट इवन विद दो विद होम शी हैड बीन फाइटिंग इन द पास्ट प्रोवाइडेड द बेसिस ऑफ कॉपरेशन टूडे वॉज ऑनरेबल दैट इट वॉज अ फ्री बेसिस a basis which would lead to the good not only of ourselves but of the world also that is to say we would not deny the corporations simply because in the past we had fought and thus carry on the trail or our past karma along with us we have to wash out the past with all its evil i wanted if i may say so in all humility to help in letting the world look at things in a slightly different perspective or rather try to see how vital questions could be approached and dealt with we have seen too often in the arguments that go on in the assemblies of the world this bitter approach this cursing of each other this desire not in the least to understand the other but deliberately to misunderstand the other and to make clever points it may be a satisfying performance for some of us on occasions to make clever points and be applauded applauded by our people or by some other people but in the state of the world today it is a poor thing for any responsible person to do when we live on the verge of catastrophic wars when national passions are roused and when even a casually spoken word might make all the difference some people have thought that by our joining or continuing to remain in the commonwealth of nations we are drifting away from our neighbor in asia or that it has become more difficult for us to cooperate with other great countries in the world but i think it is easier for us to develop closer relations with each other countries while we are in the commonwealth than it might have been otherwise this is rather a peculiar thing to say i have given a great deal of thought to this matter the commonwealth does not come in the way of our cooperation and friendship with other countries ultimately we shall have to decide and ultimately the decision will depend on our own strength if we disassociate ourselves completely from the commonwealth then for the moment we are completely isolated i think you will find that during this period of 2 years or less india has gone up in the scale of nations in its influence 
and in its prestige. It is a little difficult for me to tell you exactly what India has done or has not done. It would be absurd for anyone to expect that India can become the crusader for all causes in the world and bring forth results even in cases that have borne fruit it is not a thing to be proclaimed from the house tops but something which does not require any proclamation is the fact of india's prestige and influence in world affairs considering that she came on the scene as an independent nation only a year and a half or a little more ago it is astonishing the part that india has played one more thing i should like to say obviously a declaration of this type or the resolution that i have planned before the house is not capable of amendment it is either accepted or rejected i am surprised to see that some honorable members have sent in notices of amendments any treaty with any foreign power can be accepted or rejected it is a joint declaration of eight countries and it cannot be amended in this house or in any house it can be accepted or rejected i would therefore beg of you to consider this business in all its aspects first of all make sure that it is in conformity with our old pledges that it does violence to none if it is proved to me that it does violence to any pledge that we have undertaken that it limits india's freedom in any way then i certainly shall be no party to it secondly you should see whether it does good to us and to the rest of the world i think there can be little doubt that it does us good that this continuing association at the present moment is beneficial for us and it is beneficial in the larger sense to certain world class causes that we represent and lastly if i may put it in a negative way not to have had this agreement would certainly have been detrimental to those world causes as well as to ourselves and finally about the value i should like this house to attach to this declaration and to the whole business of the talks leading up to this declaration it is a method which brings a touch of healing with it in this world which is today sick and which has not recovered from so many wounds stop